What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. And we're bringing you guys life, game, financial. I got my notebook here with all the stuff that I've done in terms of real estate because I want you guys to be successful. Everybody can be an entrepreneur. Everybody technically is an entrepreneur. If you have money invested in the stock market, you're an entrepreneur and you don't even know it. One of the big ways people have gotten rich in this country, that I've even read where the number one way people have gotten rich is through real estate. Y'all know I love real estate. I own commercial real estate. I'm getting ready to sell a property that's gonna make me and my wife a whole lot of money because we bought, we held, we flipped, we got a tenant in it, and now we're selling the building with the contract which increased the value and we're gonna be doing well. And you guys can do the same thing. So I'm gonna give you guys some of my best tips for real estate investing that'll help you avoid the crazy mistakes that I made. Number one, um, in real estate, it's about relationships. Yes, you do need money and all that other stuff, and we'll get to that in a second. But one thing you wanna do is create good relationships with the local people in your area. And when I say relationships, I mean you wanna find a good realtor who can help you find the right property or give you a property that pops up before everybody else gets a chance to see it. You want to have a good CPA that does real estate because they can teach you some of the advantages of having real estate and how that helps you leverage your taxes. You also are going to want to try to find a good property manager. That's just like your general manager of any other business. A good property manager makes life so much more easier. They've seen deals done over and over and over again. They can help you evaluate deals and they also help you build relationships with the people you need in your community so build relationships so let's just say right now you might not have money your credit might not be good don't let that scare you start building relationships because at some point in time even with all even with bad credit and no money you still might be able to get into it and we'll discuss that in a second but number one get out there start seeing who are the movers and shakers in real estate and see if you can get on their radar that's one of the things i did and it made a world of difference for me Number two on my list, I want you guys to understand that used to be a business adage that location, location, location. That is a big thing in real estate. One thing that we did with one of our properties, we bought it when the community was kind of going down. But we knew within five years the city would start fixing up this particular community. We had seen city plans of where development was going to go at. So we bought the property very cheap, knowing that there was gonna be putting Dollar Generals, um, shopping centers and all this stuff close to where our property was at. So my, that would be another tip that I would tell you guys. When you go looking for property, pick a place where you think or where you know the city is gonna be putting business development. Go to some of those city meetings to see where development is gonna go at. Go to your chamber of commerce. They can tell you where you can find where new businesses are planning to come, where they might be in the next year or so, and that can help you narrow your search down for where you want to get a property. Now, you could always buy in a depressed community, but your goal has got to be a little bit different. It's got to be specific. But those are good tips to do when you're trying to find a property. My next tip is, let's say that you're just totally afraid of getting into the game. Well, you now have these different apps such as Fundrise that allow you to, you know, it's kind of like um, crowdfunding for real estate if you don't have a lot of money. You know, their specific goal is to crowdfund for real estate properties and you can get involved with them with not a whole lot of money. They're a good site. I've read nothing but excellent reviews from them. So let, you can take that as a route to help fund some of your um, real estate that you're going to do as you're going forward. My next thing that I want you to know before you get into real estate is the tax advantages. Now, I'm not a CPA. I can just tell you from my personal experience of the things that I've done. But most rich people and people that are doing real estate use real estate as a tax shelter. And just think of it like this. Even if you have a great property and it's going up every single year, you also get to take tax depreciation on that property. Crazy, huh? And as your property is gaining value, you're still depreciating it. That's one of the, the things you get to do when you own real estate. Plus, just having a tangible asset, just having an asset you can go touch, makes a big difference than having something that's paper, gold, 
stock markets, all that. Being able to know there's something you can go and see and put a tenant in there, make money. The tenant leaves, you still have an asset that can make you money. That helps me sleep at night and it will help you too once you can get the right pieces around you and get your team around you. So ladies and gentlemen, that is all the things I want you to think about before you get into real estate. Now having said that, you will have some bumps in the road. There's just nowhere around that. You might have a contractor that'll screw you. You might have a tenant that'll leave your property you know, vacant and mess up your property and all that. But overall, for the most part, your experience in real estate is gonna be a positive one if you just get in. When you've got your team of people around you to help you understand these pop-ups that might happen, it makes it a lot easier because you've got people around you that have been through this before and they can counsel to you on the best way to get through it. And even if you need some resources and works, they can lend you their resources and networks. That's what I want you guys to know before you get into real estate. And if you want a coach to help you out, I'm here for you. I'm here trying to serve people. I'm trying to help y'all make those life gains in every area of your life so that you don't make the mistakes I did. And you can get hit me up online, www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. You can hit me on the email, however you want to hit me. If you want to team up and you want a coach to help you get through this thing, I'm here for you. You don't got to go to some bougie, scary, almost network marketing style meeting in somebody's hotel room and spend $10,000 to get a little real estate help. No, no, no. You ain't got to do all that. You can hit me up. I'm very cheap. I'm like 30 bucks. And I can kind of connect you with the people that I know that have done right by me and give you my experience and see if we can not help you make those financial life gains in 2018. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life gain. Hit me up if you want that coach to help you make these things happen in your life. This is your year. Believe in yourself. Have someone in your team that's going to keep you motivated and you will make these things happen. And until that next sexy as hell video.